With last couple of tutorials, we are done with the basic setup of adaptive forms in AEM. And now we are ready to create our first form. So for this first form, I'll have a form where I'll be having author ID, name, email, date of birth and gender. And I will be submitting that data to MySQL database. Using this form, we'll understand all the basic concepts of adaptive form. So here, my form is at AEM and MySQL is a different system. So these two systems should know each other. My AEM should know where and how to send that data. So for that, we have already installed a JDBC connection bundle for MySQL in AEM. And we supposed to provide some configuration so that AEM can understand where and how to send that data. So for that, we have a factory configuration called Apache Link Connection Pool Data Source. We will provide this configuration so that AEM should understand how to manage and how to send that data. Once you provide this configuration, my AEM know how to connect to MySQL server, but my form does not know how and where to send that data. My form should have that information. So for that, we create a form data model, form data model, which will understand how to send that data. And this form data model has all the information about the database and its tables. Once we have this data model, means form data model, we know the tables and the database, but we must know which field will be mapped to which table, right? If you know, RDBMS has tables and tables store data. So let's say this form ID, I have this form ID, where to send this data means this should be saved somewhere here in that table, but which table and which column? So that information should be available to this form. So for that, we map that data to this model. This model has all the information and while creating this form, we'll map each, each field of this form to a particular uh, table column here. We'll see that once we have that form created. So how it will work. So my form, configured with data model, form data model, and we'll send that data to this data model. This data model having services, get service, update service, insert service. So using this insert service, this will pick that data and this insert service send this data to my database. So this whole scenario, whole form cannot be completed in one tutorial because we will be learning the basics of adaptive form using this use case. So we'll cover each section in a different tutorial so that you can understand and I will explain the different use cases and different scenarios of that particular section. So we'll start from the back side. We'll start from end means first I'll create a data model and database because I will be needing these things once I create this form. Then we'll create a form and template obviously and we'll map this data here. So we'll see all these forms working starting from scratch till end in few tutorials, coming tutorials. This is just a starting, but still, if you have some question, please do comment. Thank you.